This pencil is the best pencil in the whole world. <laughs> Look at the pencil. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't you like yeah. the pencil? No. <laughs> the super rare two by four red brick. Sur surficity of authenticities number one of one. Hey, it's Brickzar down here in the basement. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about two things. One is things that I like about YouTube. And two is things I don't like about YouTube. So let's put the negative stuff off to the end. I'm going to start off with what I like about YouTube. And what I like about YouTube is you. You guys that are watching right now. And hopefully you'll continue to watch. And I like those that have watched over the years. And obviously... I knew this from the very beginning, you know, everybody can't watch every video. There's no problem, but I've gotten so much good in input from people over the years. I've enjoyed the interaction, even some of the friendships and relationships we've been able to form with people that we've met over the years. And that is what is great about YouTube. And that's what how a lot of us in the Lego community got to know each other, uh, got to meet each other at conventions, talk to each other through YouTube or Instagram, or other social media. And so it's been a great way to share ideas. We've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. All right, I got a big collection. <laughs> I, I, I had a lot of storage, and I've learned a lot about storage from YouTube. Ones like Bricks on the Dollar, uh, people like that, Brick Stackers. Uh, I've learned a lot about um, Lego cities, like Bricks for Chris, A-Fall Man, even Jang. Uh, there's a lot of good ideas out there and it's really fun to share so that's youtube is great because of people watching people making videos and learning from them and i really like that and i want to show you something i got last year when we were at philly breakfast i feel like i've been uh very fortunate as far as uh the support i've gotten from the viewers um i'm not i you know i've worked really hard uh, to build up my collection over the years, long before YouTube. Uh, I've worked really hard at my job and buying and selling and things like that, but uh, YouTube is kind of like a bonus. It's like uh, just knowing that people sometimes like what you do, uh, that's great, but what's even better is when somebody acknowledges it with a simple yet very special gift. And one of the, this one here is from psycho penguin bricks and i've gotten a, a number of things from people over the years people have sent me stuff people have given me stuff in person and this was really neat um i did a video i think when we were in philly uh, but i don't think i've talked enough about it so i want to try to acknowledge more of you the viewers uh, like this but let's show you all right this says youtube bricks are and this is psycho penguin bricks but what he made is a Lego play button. And it says on the back, it says, Congratulations, Bricks are on 40,000 subscribers from Psycho Penguin Bricks. So obviously my channel hasn't grown much since then, but that doesn't matter. I have a Lego play button from a real Lego person, Psycho Penguin Bricks. <laughs> so I've kept that together. That's better than the... The, what does he get? You get a hundred thousand a silver play button or something? <laughs> Let's see how many people have one of these. All right. So that was pretty special. And another thing that recently we got is from um, Jags Martin, the super rare two by four red brick. Sur surficity of authenticities number one of one. <laughs> so, I mean. Where else, but, I mean, but YouTube, are you going to get stuff like this where people, they they watch your videos, they acknowledge them, and they, they come up with references that are like three years old or four years old. It's four years ago I made this video about the 2x4 red brick. And, he, you know, the, the this is, if anybody's talking about the spelling, that's intentional because that's the way it was in the video. We did it on purpose, but... Um, that's that is what is great about YouTube. You guys, this is it, 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 I was feeling a little down, so I said I need to do something to pick myself up and just thinking about uh these two guys here, Jags Martin and Psycho Penguin Bricks. Uh things like that pick me up. And there's so many other people I could mention and we'll 
do that as we do other videos. But I said I was going to talk about things I don't like about YouTube. And it's it's always a slippery slope when you talk about negative things about YouTube because I love the platform. I've been on it for a number of years. I've had highs and lows, ups and downs. Uh, YouTube has been very good to me. I want the YouTube platform to continue, and I hope it does well. But there's things I've seen in the last year or two that I really don't like, and it looks like it's not going away. And it's probably not so much a reflection on YouTube as it is on human society. <laughs> All right, let me sit down for this. What do I not like about YouTube? Well, pretty much it's what YouTube promotes. And I know that it's a slippery slope, it's a sticky subject. It's like you, YouTube wants to promote things that people want to watch. And I understand that. And they do a good job for the most part because like when you search for a particular thing, like when I was learning how to install my sync, I got suggested a lot of sync videos. But I had to go through the one until I found one that really fit what I needed. Uh, so it wasn't necessarily all the ones that suggested weren't necessarily the ones I needed to watch. Uh, I've done it with other things around the house when I've repaired things. <laughs> I've used them. That's just one example. But, you know, in the end, I'm not going to be... If they were still suggesting sync repair videos now, that would be pointless because I've already fixed it, so I don't need to watch another one. Uh, I did the same thing with my car. I had to fix a, a part on my car, and I watched a video on how to do it. I don't need to do it anymore unless that part breaks again. So I don't want to keep getting those videos suggested to me. But, you know, YouTube... Like, if you like a particular subject, like you like Lego, you're going to get suggested videos. And a lot of us, if you remember, and it may still happen, but when we were doing Lego videos, you'd get suggested videos from uh, usually Mad About Lego, Brick Show, Brick Queen, Lego Jang at that time, um, Solid Brick Studios. There would be... Some that you might not even watch, but they were real regular in making content then. Those would be the ones that would be suggested or their channels would be suggested to you. And now some of those channels you don't even, they don't even, even Jane doesn't show up much on my feed anymore. And I know a lot, a lot of that has to do with uh, what you actually view. So your browser might be different than mine as far as what you get suggested because they look at your history. Well, it will be. But if you're looking at Lego content. And what concerns me is not necessarily in the Lego field, because Lego as a whole is on the down uh, decline. Um, and you see, let's take um, a top channel. And I intentionally use the word top. When you look at Jang, who's getting close to a million subscribers, and I'm not... Disclaimer, I'm not talking negatively about anybody in the Lego community. All right, I'm just pointing out a situation. He's almost to a million subscribers, and he's not getting the views that he used to get. And that's not because of him, because he's got the top quality videos in all of the Lego field. Um, he's, but his views are not going up proportional to his growth. And, you know, I, I've seen a huge decline. Brick Show's seen a decline. Brick Queen's had a decline. Uh, Mad About Lego's had a decline. A lot of these people. But it's the ones doing... Um, silly and obnoxious stuff that are on the uptick. And I see this since I deal with the toy genre where you're doing toy videos and uh, what is popular are the bad parent, bad kid. Uh, they're, they're supposed to be funny videos. Uh, they're super, superhero in real life, which a lot of those are actually inappropriate for kids because uh, they, they cover adult uh, themes and you can tell that by the thumbnails on some of these um, and things like that and I had to fill out a survey on YouTube there's my computer um, about you know how are we doing so I'm not going to go into all the details of things I said or checked on the uh, survey but one of the things where you had to write that was what I, I put in there because I am sick of it I am sick of the garbage and when i say garbage i'm not talking about the quality of the video i'm talking about should a kid really even be watching this type stuff that is promoted and it's getting promoted because it gets good watch time and so people make more content like that 
That's why the superhero in real life is like kids watched it. And the, not all of those are not bad. I'm not saying that. I say some of them are really bad. As far as, I'm not talking about quality. I'm talking inappropriate for kids. All right. And then the bad parent, bad kid thing. I'm like, if you watch them as, they're not, it's really kind of annoying when you watch them. Okay. So maybe that's my personal thing. But it's like, this is, if you want to succeed, and I said this in another video, if you want to succeed in the toy genre, this is how you do it. And this is, you know, you can go watch all the YouTube tips videos you want, uh, but this is what you need to do, and this is what I need to do if I want my channel to grow in the toy genre. Look, it's a pencil. So, I got, I got a pencil. So that's the way I might say it. It's like, oh, I got to get my pencil. I got my pencil. If you're in the toy genre, you do it like this. Whoa! Look! Hey, look at this! I got a pencil! <laughs> oh, and it just, you know, it's that's what works. I'm, the kids, they want the excitement. They want that through the whole video. And I can't, I don't have the energy to do that. I don't want to do that. And my regular viewers don't want me to do that. Except occasionally, maybe. I don't know. Uh, you know, they don't want me to be monotone the whole video. You go back and look at my early catalog, I'm completely monotone. I don't look at the camera. I'm not even on the camera. I ramble like I'm rambling now. But, you know, some people might say that SpongeBob is annoying. I like SpongeBob. There's a lot of cartoons that I like. I don't like some of the new SpongeBob, though. But maybe that's more of a reflection why I don't like these types of toy videos. Uh, Sorry, I digress again. What I'm saying is, just because something is popular doesn't mean it needs to be force-fed to the community. Uh, for instance, if you gave a kid the choice between a healthy meal and junk food, the kid is going to gobble up the junk food. It's like If you gave them the choice, you put it before them, eat, eat whatever you want, they're going to eat the junk food. And that's all they're going to eat. And they're going to eat as much of it as you can put in front of them. But does that mean that is what they should be watching? And an example of this, and this is just my theory, my speculation. I think somebody like Jang at Jang Bricks realizes this. I think he is doing something to kind of poke fun at that in his top videos that he does on Nash Bricks. I think it's brilliant. I think it's hilarious. I I totally get it. Uh, but my theory is just like, not only is it funny, but it's kind of a shot at those style of videos because those are what is popular on YouTube. Uh, just, if you haven't watched Nash Bricks, go watch it. Everything is top this, top that, top Legos. And filming is intentionally bad because... Those are the types of videos <laughs> that are doing well. <laughs> and that's what I... It's like the kids are gobbling up the junk food. And the quality five-course meal that is Jang Bricks and these other channels that have been around for a number of years is just like being pushed to the side. That's my opinion. Sorry to digress and talk about that. I know you didn't want to hear it, but... That's just something I don't like about YouTube is that you got to be a Kardashian type channel. Your your t channel has got to be something that's just uh, outrageous, obnoxious, and annoying. If you do that, you will have growth on YouTube. I don't care how good your thumbnail is. I don't care how good your title is. I don't care how good your tags are. If you don't have a story that is going to engage the viewer that's on YouTube, your channel's not going to grow. But keep your sanity. I'm going to try to keep my sanity here as long as I can. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, go watch um, your favorite, I don't know. What, what, what could they watch? What do you watch on YouTube? Um. I'm asking they might be briefed what he watches. Go watch Number File. I like watching that. Vsauce. Except when they talk about evolution. It's like, I'm like, 
My brain is not big enough. I need to make it bigger. Brain, get bigger. No, nope, it didn't happen. It's like you can't you can't just say I need something and then change. It doesn't happen that way. But anyway, that's the only thing I don't like about Science Channel. <laughs> I like science. Don't judge me because I believe in science. <laughs> you can't think you don't even know what you watch. You should be it should be like on the top of your head what you watch. What's the last video I'm not you on watched? YouTube a lot. The last video I want was how to make an electric arc furnace. <laughs> how to make an electric arc furnace was his last then video. I like to watch like movie clips like Tron yeah. saves Kevin Flynn, Batman theme from 1989, Star Wars, Kylo Ren versus Ray, yeah. Paywall Nation sale music video. Yeah. Well, I met this guy. Hello, Greedo. I like watching Hello Greedo. I've been watching Urban Acolyte. He's a guy that I met at one of the YouTube Creator Days. He does like Star Wars theories, and I love him because he's so snarky about the other. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, I've heard of him. Yeah. Oh, I did watch one of his videos. The other day. Yeah. He he's a very good. It's like people will make stuff just whatever, but he likes to debunk their theories and have his own theories. And he always acknowledges that his theories could be wrong and stuff like that. But it's just like, uh, he, I, he was, he's very funny. He's funny. And I think I, that's why I like him. Cause he's kind of dry like me. Like he'll say it almost deadpan, but, um, he'll tell off people <laughs> too. Oh, yeah. Urban acolyte. I've watched his videos yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, yeah, I met him at YouTube, That's one of cool. the creator courses we went to. We did It was when we did the thing on live streaming. But anyway, I hope I don't get fired from YouTube. I'll have to go back to my day job. Oh, wait a minute. I already, I'm still at my day job. You know what? Oh, uh, another ramble point. You know what? You, this is when people start YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's like really exciting, isn't it? You remember when we were making videos? You want to come over here with me? I don't have a chair for you. I can stand and set my knees. Or yeah, we'll, go, we'll go like this. Oh yeah, but I do remember that. It was. It was, was it. Was it fun it, making videos? It was like the first time you. Okay, this may seem like a weird example, but it's like the first time I played Minecraft, I was terrified, cause it would be nighttime in the game and you'd have to make a house so the monsters won't get you. But now I play is just like any other thing. But it's like you never have the same feeling again. Oh, okay. So. Not that I don't enjoy I'm talking, making. Like, well, with YouTube, mm -hmm. when you, you remember before I started YouTube, you used to make little videos with the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't forget to vote. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And why did you do that? Do you remember? I mean, it was a long time ago. It was over 10 years ago that I you guess, were doing that. I guess just because I saw other people doing it, I was, oh, that looks fun. Uh -huh. So, yeah. And did you like it when we first started making videos together? Mm -hmm. And I liked seeing people watching our videos, too. So, why do you not make videos as often now? Because I'm lazy. Is it you don't get... What do you look for when you make a video? I like it when people... Like, if I make a video about, like, oh, something else is coming up, or... I like when people say, oh, I like your review, or they agree with something I talk about. You know, stuff like that. What... And I do. I like to show people stuff, you know. Yeah, and I think those are the. Uh, I think people like, still like those kind of videos where if somebody's showing you something and you really like it, mm -hmm. you're not like forced to like it. Because like when a kid, like, when it's someone, when a kid's a kid and they're like, "Mom, look at this drawing I made," and they say, "Oh, that's very good. You like it. You like that. You know." Yeah. Yeah. So. But with YouTube, I think a lot of people they start they get they got a lot of energy when they start. And then when they see that little tick of growth, like they, they're gaining subscribers and stuff, that, that it motivates them to go. But at a certain point, when the growth... I think a lot of people, when they start YouTube, they think that the growth, if you grow, you just keep growing. You'll mm -hmm. just keep growing. That's not what happens. Mm -hmm. It's up and down. And when you start hitting those low places, it can be discouraging to people. And when you hit a low place where it's like where your channel declines for three straight years, it can be really depressing mm -hmm. but um how do you get out of that you just keep trying that's what I you keep doing. swimming I, I keep swimming i'm paddling i'm treading water but i don't want to be like this pencil is the best pencil in the whole world <laughs> <laughs> look at the pencil <laughs> oh yeah don't you like yeah. the pencil no <laughs> 
and that's... then you hit the low point. So <laughs> yeah. So now see because I'm gonna break break early breaks are is a pencil. So no, HB number two. <laughs> but like with my videos, it's like right now the videos that get the most views that I upload or whenever. Is, is me recording trains hmm. like when i went to philly and i recorded the pin lug yeah layout, that was yeah that video those oh, and i lo and i like recording that stuff because i like doing the cinematic yeah well so on my other channel one of the most successful videos i had was slot cars and trains mm -hmm. so i've been trying to do a lot of those but they're not working and i think there's an element that's missing in those in the videos i'm doing now you know what that is i think when we play with the slot cars like you helped me do the last couple of videos mm -hmm. I think we viewed it like work. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we had the green table over there and we set up the slot cars and the trains the first time we ever did it? Mm -hmm. This is before I started this channel. It was the Jailson channel? Jailson yeah. 37. Do you remember what it was like when we were filming? It was fun. As is, as is exactly right. Yeah. And, I, and um, the video quality was not as good. There, there was no music. The editing was bad. <laughs> But when we were playing with that train, mm -hmm. you were like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, I remember." <laughs> you're doing the slot cars and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And then we would jump. And you remember that one time I was getting on to you? Let's see if you can remember. This is yeah, way I back. remember. Yeah. And you're like, "What did you do?" And I, I did the same thing that I was just getting I was on like, to. Oh, okay. Like, so <laughs> like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's actually a part. Of, I think I edited it out a little bit, but it's like you still hear that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> I did the same thing mm -hmm. that I was getting. On like you with. can't keep hitting the trains. I'm like, okay, and then you, go, <laughs> you hit the train, and then, yeah. and then one time, and now I was like, Jacob, <laughs> I need you to hit the train. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. So we're sitting there trying to get the good shot, but we're not, we're not really playing. Mm -hmm. We need to get back to when we do these videos. We're like playing, like it's fun, mm -hmm. not I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Yeah. And then YouTube will be fun again. I think that's why when we get good internet, doing the live streams of gaming. You remember when I did... Because I always have fun playing Rocket League with my friends. And those are my... Um, that's another thing I like about YouTube is the live streaming. But like you said, we got to get the internet. When, we did, when I did the Mad Libs, I know it was simple. That was and, it, fun. and it may not so be a popular I, I like, video. I like watching you do that. But I had a blast mm -hmm. doing that. I enjoyed that. And I would rather... I actually would rather do all of my videos live, but until we get the... You know what? When I went back and watched the video, it looked fine. I think it's... What it, what it is, is it's recording the same time it's going live, and in the moment while it's live, the quality it's, may not be that good, but when you're done, it's automatically uploading what you're recording. So it's mm -hmm. recording you, and it's automatically uploading at the same time. That's mm -hmm. why your internet speeds will be slow. Not because you're broadcasting, but because... Well, I know there's going to be a lag because they lag for the comments, mm -hmm. and... You can actually choose another setting where the playback will have a higher quality, mm -hmm. uh, but it'll be more like 30 seconds before you... If you say something and ask for a question, it'll take like 30 seconds yeah. before you get a reply. Because it's recording you and uploading at the yeah, same time. Yeah, so that's where you get the lag. And then sometimes for the viewer, it actually will buffer because of that. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to. I want to resolve that <laughs> by getting a better internet. Because I think the live streams is where I need to go. It's mm -hmm. just fun, and and it's and a lot of people like to watch it. And I and I think the whole thing with Lego is like everybody's got a city. Um, Everyone does reviews. There's so many review channels, and the reviews I think have lost their value. Because you watch years. one review, like whenever a UCS sets comes out, you watch the Lego designer video. And that's what I'm saying. And then you you're could, like, oh, there's you, you someone could, did a review on it. I'll watch it maybe, but you know the I actual. Saw it. In the actual build mm -hmm. <laughs> is not as important. People want the pre preliminary images, the designer video, and maybe they'll watch a speed build that somebody does. But um, I don't. I don't look at reviews. I maybe maybe I'm just that way. Maybe it's me. I I watch a couple of reviews once in a while, but it'll be like. I know you don't. I know Brick Builder. He doesn't really do a lot of you know talk. He doesn't. He doesn't tell his, you anything. He doesn't talk in his videos. But I think what it is because you know it's worldwide, so yeah. anyone can watch it. Yeah. But I like watching his videos because it's kind of. I always do, love watching speed builds. That's. that's does he why. do anything funny through the video? No, but I think it's what. Well, well so I, man what, about no, Lego did speed builds, but he would do something funny. He would tell a story. Through animation. But I think the reason why I like watching his videos, because say you're on a long car ride and you're on YouTube and you're like, you don't know what to watch. 
and you don't want to watch something like say you don't have headphones say you don't want to watch something that bother the other people in the car you can watch his videos because all it is is music and you don't have to worry about the music but you can watch it oh yeah so that, that's one of those types you of can things. watch it with no audio basically mm-hmm. even though it's got the music that's that's a good point so I'm thinking I do want to do stories and I've mentioned this before on this channel where I want to tell my work what happened to Matt? what happened to Mike's hair Oh yeah, it flew off over there. His hat. Matt, uh, Mike from Three Brick Friends, his hat fell off. And, Sorry, uh, his hat fell off too. And, and his hair. Jam. Oh wait, wait, that's wait that's Chris. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. <laughs> so I want to tell stories through Lego, but not. I'm not. I, I'm never going to be able to do the um, mm-hmm. animations. But I like set up a like you're setting up something over. It's top secret. Mm-hmm, yeah, I I'll come out set, soon though. Hopefully, I want to set up something like a scenario like at work, and you can just do static pictures mm-hmm. where you do it, and then you tell the story statically well we could i had another idea is like we could do it like some of our videos take place in a space shuttle but we take a space shuttle put on the green screen make it like it's moving but then we make a giant set because you know space shuttles aren't really as big as you think but they're really big but on the inside it's not like a millennium falcon you know so we we could put ourselves to lego scale Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know what do you think so uh but anyway that i've gone way too long on this video (laughs) And I want to thank They Might Be Bricks for joining me. He's not missing in action. He does have a full... T- well, not a full... T- he's got... He's, I got a job. He's got a job. Mm-hmm. He's still doing school. Mm-hmm. Um, he's still got talent to help with videos. It's just... Got to get that motivation. Yeah, that is exactly right. Yeah, and nobody should do something if they don't really want to do it. Mm-hmm. So, maybe you'll... You did a video there. Did you upload it? No, I have not. See, that's that's, that's another thing. I make videos, but I don't upload them. You got like 10 videos. Yeah, I, I got my phone. I got like 6 million. What that train video we made last year you and never uploaded? the Superstar Destroyer, which is right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be like... Yeah, I had somebody on the Leppin videos like, why would I pay $1,500 for a Superstar Destroyer? I don't know. You dumb? <laughs> I, I mean, was like, why would I do this? It's like, I'm not saying you have to. Yeah, nobody's I mean... forcing you to buy a $1,500 Super Star Destroyer. Mm-hmm. I just went to a Bargain Hunt. They had two sets that were like 8 bucks total for two sets. And it's like, go find the deals, man. Do you remember when people used to be like, oh, you're just doing YouTube for the views? Yeah. It's like, what else are people doing YouTube for? <laughs> like, I mean, if, you don't like, want, if you don't well, want to do YouTube for the views, make it private. Well, yeah, I mean, you want people to watch... At least one person to watch and benefit from your video. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's kind of stupid to say, to ch- criticize somebody for making a video for people to watch it. I mean, like, why, yeah, why would you make a video and then mm-hmm. not want anybody to watch it? Mm-hmm. Of course, you want somebody to watch it. That's it the don't point. matter That's how many been... people watch it necessarily. I mean, I'd like more people to watch, but it's like. That's the only reason why people film stuff at all is because they want people to watch it like when you george lucas he was like i hope nobody watches star wars yeah or like you see in tv shows and movies like i was watching men in black the other day it had the scene where the girl was talking about you know she worked in the morgue she was talking about it like she's recording her voice because she wants other people to listen she's not just doing that for uh, her. yeah this is like why would you want to do something or like not I d- for the views on I, YouTube? I, of course there is the videos i do about my collection where i'm actually doing that so i can go back and watch it and know what I have in my collection, but mm-hmm. people like those videos actually. So I need to oh, yeah, I like I, li- I like watching you do that because it was like you're doing an auction. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the dilemma now. Is like I got to figure out how to do some of the rest of this stuff because it's mm-hmm. not going to go nicely in boxes. But anyway, that was wait a minute, I got way off. The top. What's this video about? Oh, oh yeah, like, what like and hate by YouTube. Yes. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Go give they might be bricks some love by subscribing to his channel. And we'll be back Mm -hmm. in the next video. Bye. Bye.